Hi, welcome back to the Coach's Corner. I am Coach Marion Poppins, practically imperfect in every way. So glad you could be with me here again tonight. I filled you in a little bit last week, you know, with how I got to be with being imperfect. Well, actually embracing it. I was always imperfect, but somehow I had this idea that I was perfect because that's what I was always striving for. Not a pleasant way to live. Mm -mm -mm. You might be able to relate to that. Because tonight I'm going to talk to you a little bit about being perfect. Do you feel that you always have to be perfect? And if you're saying, that's not me, I want you to pause and check in with yourself. Do you constantly worry that no matter how hard you try, you're never quite good enough? How do you handle any kind of criticism? What about constructive criticism? Does that throw you into the pit of, Ugh, I'm a failure, I'm a failure. And when you make a mistake or things go wrong, and they do, do you blame yourself? Oh gosh, I'm so stupid. Uh, oh, I'm an idiot. What was I thinking, right? How you doing so far? Relating to any of this? Uh, now don't misunderstand me. It is good to strive for excellence and to set high realistic goals because that's what allows us to take pride in a job that's well done. Thus one can cause his soul to see good because of his hard work. Sound familiar? Scripture. Are you seeing good for your hard work? Are you saying, hey, well done when you've done something well done? Or do you find constant fault with your accomplishments? How about when someone compliments you? What are you quick to say? Yeah, but are we quick to pull out the big butts? Hmm? Yeah, but, and you drag it out because we got to make sure they understand that we did not reach perfection because it's not good enough. And it, of course, it could always be better. Yes, 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 right? Perfectionism involves more than simply striving for excellence and or taking pride in a job well done, right? Because your view becomes so distorted about achievements. And then you miss out on with that satisfaction. Perfectionism actually robs you of reaping the rewards of your hard work. And as a result, perfectionism is a chronic source of stress, often leaving you feeling like, well, like you're a failure. You never measure up. You're never going to reach that high standard you set for yourself. So what causes perfectionism? Hmm? What causes that desire like, I have to be perfect and I want to prove something by being perfect? Are you curious? Are you at all curious? Because if you are, come back next week. We're going to talk about that. Where does it come from? And we're also going to get through the series and with some suggestions and coaching on how to rise above it. Oh, nice plug, Marion. I like that. <laughs> that was cool. That just kind of slipped in there. I'll take it. All right. So a shameless plug here and there. Anyway. I want you to come back next week because we're going to talk about um, why we have this need to be perfected, perfect <laughs> and perfectionism. Alrighty, remember this, a spoonful of coaching helps the adjustments go down in the most delightful way. <laughs> How do you like that? Isn't that fun? Okay, I am looking forward to seeing you next week. We have a lot to talk about.